Coming up on Reality Remix, Kennedy sits down for a hard-hitting interview with Ultimate Fighters Mac and Roman. Plus, we take a look at more Survivor China contestants. All that and more when Reality Remix returns. I'm Danielle from Big Brother 8, and you're watching Reality Remix on Fox Reality Channel. Yes. Welcome back to Reality Remix. Joining me now are two of the fighters from this season's Ultimate Fighter 6 on Spike TV. Please welcome Mac Danzig and Roman Matichian. Did I say it right? Sweet balls. All right, guys. <laughs> So let's talk about this season of Ultimate Fighter. Another grudge match between the coaches. Last year we thought uh, Pulver versus Penn was going to be the ultimate. They could never get two coaches who hated each other more. And then enter the mats, Hughes versus Sarah. Why do these guys hate each other so much? When did it start? Who started it? Um, I think they're just uh, both serious competitors and mm -hmm. I, I think that uh, you know, you've got two different cultures, meaning you've got Maddie's the farm boy from the Midwest. And sure, you've, he looks like got, a farm boy with a big neck. Yeah, exactly. And you've got, if you've got Matt Sarah, who's uh, just like a your, your typical New Yorker, you know, he's, he's a bit of a smart ass. And uh, they're, they don't mesh well, and, you know, they know they're going to be fighting. They both... Uh, yeah, they, they don't they don't get along well at all. That's for sure. <laughs> okay, now say you've got a guy in the leg triangle business where you're really holding him like this, and I don't know. Say he's only got ten seconds left before the round is over. Why why would you tap out? Um, because at that point you're literally about to pass out. Um, Isn't it better to pass out though? Yeah. Um, Thank you yeah, very much, it, Roman. It depends on uh, the mentality of the fighter and, and, and what they feel like. At the same time, uh, as the, the blood is being cut off from your head, lots yeah. of times you can't breathe either. Mm -hmm. So it's is it's it not only... What is it? Huh? What's uh, going through your head when you're in that situation? Uh, get out. You know, I, I, I'm a submission specialist. That's that's always been... Me uh, too. My that's why my <laughs> husband loves me. <laughs> my Back to USA, sir. <laughs> that's been my forte for, for, for most of my fighting career, so I usually don't get caught in that situation. What is your specialty other than kicking ass and kicking uh, names? Well, I'm judo. Judo, yeah. that's my specialist. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I like to slam people on their head so they can just go unconscious. Yes. So when that you clinch mean. and that, that happens a lot. Have you done that? Um, I can't tell you that. Oh, Roman. Why, I cannot why wait to see you fight. I, yeah. that elbow. Mm, yeah, you there. see, it just, you know, you, you have clinching and all that stuff going. And a lot of these guys are wrestlers. Does that mean young guys who are training, you know, who are coming up like you were in 2000 when you came to this country, are they going to just bypass boxing instead of trying to be stars in that sport? Are they going to go immediately to MMA and... Well, I think MMA is, if you're a judo guy or wrestler, mm -hmm. that's your best pick, MMA. Okay. UFC. Sure. If you're a boxer and you come to this country or anybody, if you're a boxer, I think you should stick with your boxing. And Mac, Roman, thanks so much for coming by. The carrot and the steak. Both That's of right. you have been delightful <laughs> to interview. Good luck on your show.